Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I just wanted to get a quick video out for you guys given that we just released the new Halloween 2024 rerun event and despite the fact that guides from previous years will actually work, I did want to collaborate with a friend or two. So shout out to Pip and Vinny. Pip was the first person who tried to help me and then we regrouped and Vinny ended up letting me use a reworked version of his previous 2023 setup. And uh, we just kind of tweaked it, made adjustments to physics changes that Roblox has had over the years. So this is up to date and it does work pretty well. Uh, he actually mentioned that this is now faster due to some of the changes that I and he made. So again, shout out to Vinny. Um, but I just wanted to post about a guide on how to get candy. And this is what we currently have. Uh, you do need your gumball machines facing the same direction as... All of these so as far as the teleporter receiver the gumballs the pumpkin night and the furnace try to keep all of these generally in the same direction that you can see them on screen now uh the the super swinite mine doesn't need to be put where it is it's just why not however what you'll do is you will get a hydraulic teleporter if you don't have life 400 to get the hydraulic one just use a normal one it's totally fine there's no difference it just speeds up time by like a little bit you don't need it you could just use regular ones uh an ore elevator candy castle you do need a raised conveyor which you can get in the shop uh they're quite cheap they're for 150k you do need a raised conveyor though no other conveyor will work at least most won't or caramelizer and pumpkin pie refiner will go after as those are raised items uh, you'll also notice here that these are raised. Uh, we have Pumpkin Spice Refiner, Franken Cump Cake, Grand Wafer, Giant Pretzel, Sugar Corroder. We found that this was a pretty efficient thing to add, but if you take four conveyor walls, a centering conveyor, and then any fast conveyor, you don't need ultimate conveyors, but I use those. Uh, you could you literally use plasma conveyors or something as well. Um... It does prevent the ores from falling out of the sides due to just item issues with candy corn real estate. So just something to consider uh, as we, we are having some problems for whatever reason with this. Uh, gummy refiner can go after. And then you could obviously put more of these items after here, but just taking into consideration that uh, exec bases exist and non-sec players exist... Uh, you guys have the smaller base size, so I just try to consider that and shave some of this off. But you 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 don't need to cut this here. Uh, so teleporter or just continue putting upgraders. Cookie nader, two ultimate conveyors or again two fast conveyors is good. We were having issues where some of these items were getting uh or stuck, and uh, that seemed to be a functional and good solution as it just speeds up the ores anyways. Lollipopinator. Hellish Bat Cookie, The Rock, and Candy Refiner. That is it. If you have Candy Core, use it. If you don't, I would just put down a Quasar um, and just just run that. Pumpkinite, two Gumball Goliath, or sorry, two Goliath Gumball Machines, and a Super Swinite, as well as Candy Metropolis. So, pretty straightforward. It's not too crazy. Uh, it works very fast. I'll show it in action really quick for you guys. Um, but I don't know. Again, I just wanted to get something quick out for you guys. I will be posting a very useful video either tomorrow or the day after. Uh, it'll include a bunch of things like what order to buy the candy items in. So that way you could do things as efficiently as possible. Additionally, we'll be including just general suggestions and tips for going throughout the event as a whole. Um, and just, just stuff like that. Like, we're, we're just gonna do what we can to provide you guys as much useful, uh, knowledge info, as well as just how to do a temporary, not a permanent, but a temporary AFK farm that does work with this setup that was provided to me, once again, by Vinny, so thank you for that. Uh, I'll be including that in tomorrow's video. We just wanted to get something out so you guys at least had some resources. However, uh, that's pretty much it. This is a pretty quick setup, um... It's about roughly 10k candy a minute. It works really well. And uh, here's the whole thing on screen so you could see all of it at once. But again, thank you. 
none of this is really too complicated. Uh, we tried to make it as simple and easy to use at any life as possible, given um, the only real thing with a life requirement here is actually the teleporters, but all of these teleporters can be replaced uh, with regular ones if you don't have these, so I wouldn't stress too much. And uh, these conveyors, the ultimate ones, can be replaced with something else, so don't stress too much. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty simple. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Good luck and happy Halloween.